What's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to avoid crashing or freezing in Borderlands 3. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll perfectly know what to do in order to fix these issues. Before we start right into the video guys, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. And yeah, guys, subscribing is free for you and would be a massive support for me. So be sure to hit the subscribe button before we start right into the video just to honor a little bit of my work. And I would just say, let's get started. So in order to fix crashing or freezing in Borderlands 3, the first step is going to be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut on ever getting down to your task, task, task bar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. What I want you to do in your task manager, so guys, this is gonna sound a little bit weird, but for me, it really fixed my problem, and I'm sure this was the issue. You need to end every single application and background process, which is currently running and has nothing to do with Windows, um, simply because once it could happen that too many programs open at the same time can lead your game to crash, especially on low-end PCs, and the other reason that was it for me, um, that sometimes programs or other games are going to third party your main game and causing it to freeze or to crash. I don't know why it is like that, but it happened to me. So trust me guys, just end every single task by right clicking it and clicking on end task. The same is for startups. You're going to navigate to the top left corner of your screen and hitting startup, the fourth one. And I want you to disable every single program right here. Once you finished here, you're going to close on the task manager. And the next step is going to be to search an empty spot right onto your desktop. You're going to right click and go to display settings. What I want you to do is stick to display and once you're here, once you identify which your main monitor is, obviously this just applies if you have more than one. Uh, once you identified your main monitor, I want you to scroll down and hit uh, go to scale and layout. Once you're here, I want you to go to change the size of text apps and other items and put it on 100% as recommended as well as going to display resolution and turning it right onto your in-game resolutions. For example, if you're running in game like 7020 by 1070, you can apply this also to your display resolution. Once you did that, I want you to close this one down and navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings. Once you're at your settings, I want you to uh, basically go to gaming. And uh, once you're here, I want you to turn off the Xbox game bar um, because this will also happen or this will basically uh, impact heavily your crashes and freezing. Once you turn this off, you're gonna go back and hit update and security. Where I want you to check for updates because sometimes if you're outdated, uh, this will really hard impact your, uh, yeah, your, your performance and this will lead to crashes or freezing. And I want you to download the latest version of Windows also to provide the best possible performance for your PC. Once you did that, you're gonna close this one down and hit also your graphics card. So I want you to download the latest version of your graphics card. It doesn't matter if you're AMD or Nvidia, just hit the application, go to your browser, download the latest version. And so you can come along with upcoming updates and to provide the best possible performance. And this will help you a lot with crashing and freezing. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm really sorry if it doesn't uh, or it didn't help you, but for me and others really helped. So I just trying to do my best in order to help you. Yeah guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.